Hey everyone, good afternoon. It's Katrina Sawa here, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach with jumpstartyourmarketing.com. And I am live in my group today in Facebook, one of the groups. It's the Jumpstart Your Marketing and Business group. And hey, how are you guys doing? I hope you're finishing the week strong. It's not quite Friday yet, but I'm probably gonna be taking tomorrow off because I know Riley is out of school and Jason took the day off and so we might go play tomorrow. So you may not see me tomorrow. So this is kind of my Friday. Uh, so I was just doing a webinar for Social Buzz Club, the university. And if you don't know about Social Buzz Club, you definitely wanna check it out. It's a way to get massive exposure for your business all you have to do is retweet and share other people's stuff and then they share and retweet your stuff and it's a place to do that. It's a platform. It's a, what she call it today? Um, social trending, a tribe marketing platform. I love that. So, um, but so the link to go get that is in my profile or this group, I believe, if you want to get access to that webinar. I did a whole webinar today on how to get, how to make easy yes offers in your business at live events and things like that. So that prompted me to go and come and do this with you today because one of the things I really just briefly touched on today in that webinar was the five levels of what could be in your funnel, in your product funnel, what you're selling, right? So your offerings, I, I, I call it offerings because um, we offer lots of different things, right? Some of us offer one-on-one, -on -one, uh, we offer webinars. So what are you selling? What's for pay, right? And uh, so if you think about a funnel, a lot of you know what the funnel is, is people come into your world, right, into your website or your world through usually free offers and free try you out things. Maybe a group like this, maybe then they come to a, send you a message and then maybe they get on a phone call or something with you. And there's a progression, right, in your in your sales process, in your marketing and sales process. But I want to talk specifically today about five types of things you might sell in your business, and I'm calling it offerings in your funnel, okay? So something to think about, because a lot of times we have the low price things, but we don't have a high price thing. We don't have a middle ground. We might have a high price thing, but we don't have a low price thing. And I've been at the end of all of these, okay? So in 16 years in business, I've done all of this, let me just tell you. <laughs> I've, uh, I've been where I've had just a bunch of low price stuff before I built up confidence to charge more, and then I got a bunch of coaching to just charge high price stuff and get rid of all the low price stuff, and then I was over there. And that didn't really seem very good, so then I just broadened it out a little bit more, and now I have things, a lot of things under 100 bucks, things in the middle, as well as high-end ways to work with me. And so I believe for most of you, you can do this too. Now, unless you own a body shop or something a little different type of a business, but there's still something to consider. Uh, as far as having maybe an annual membership or like, a, I don't know, there's all kinds of ways to create different revenue streams in your business. And sometimes, yes, in order to come up with the perfect thing for you, I do have to do a, a brainstorming call with somebody. If you're just this unique business and you can't see how to do something other than what you're doing now, maybe it's one-on-one, -on -one. I can't see how to do this in a group, I can't see how to do this virtual instead of live, right? Uh, then I know that I can help you find a way to create a different revenue stream or two. So, but the five things we want to talk about being in your funnel, the first thing is the freebie, right? Okay, so it's not something you would sell, but there's various different freebies you can create. So you do want to have, I say, multiple freebies, okay? Multiple freebies that you can create uh, in your business to attract attention. I have ones on different topics. So for my business, I could talk, I could have a freebie about how to boost, jumpstart your social media. I could have a freebie about how to jumpstart your follow-up, and I do. I could have a freebie on how to jumpstart your team and start delegating, and I do. Uh, I could have a freebie on how to jumpstart your business and your startup, and I do, right? So think of all the different things that people could potentially come to you for. If you're a health coach, jumpstart your health, jumpstart your, well, don't use the jumpstart brand, but you know what I mean, like 
okay, you can, whatever. But uh, like the health, you could do exercise, you could do drink more water. There's all kinds of little things you could do to create a f more freebies in your business. That way, if you just have one freebie, I mean, of course you just want to start with one if, if you're just starting. But then as you grow in your business, start creating little pieces of content. It could be written, recorded. Um, it could be an interview of somebody asking you questions. Uh, it could be a clip of a live event or a, a uh, speaking, it could be a checklist, it could be anything you want, okay, that somebody will want to get. So that's the key, is making it um, something that somebody wants to get to, uh, to to continue maybe learning more from you and learning more about you and how you work, okay? And that gets them into the funnel. Then the second thing is the easy yes offer. This is what I was talking about on a whole webinar today, right? And I have a whole talk around this. So if you want me to come in and do a talk to your group or you know someone that this might be a really good fit for, I love talking about the easy yes offers. I've done this in a live events and webinars. And um, the reason being is so many of us go to live ev events, right? We go to a networking event. I, I, when I first started my business, I went to 14 networking events a month, right? Because what am I gonna do? I don't have any clients, I'm gonna go to an event. So hey, Erin, uh, thanks for coming. Uh, so I would go to a lot of events and back then I didn't really know to make easy yes offers. I didn't make it available to pay me today and sign up today. So you got to make it easy for people to try you out. So an easy yes offer is a try you out option. Okay. So it could be a one hour call. It could be a 30 minute call. It could be a 15 minute call. In the case of my bookkeeper, when I first hired my new bookkeeper, she did four hours for a hundred bucks. Four hours for a hundred bucks, I'm like sold. I wrote her a check that day and I've been with her for six or seven years or however long, right? Seriously, it is a no brainer to have an easy yes offer. And you can throw in a bunch of stuff. Sometimes I offer a package when I'm out networking events and I have order forms for this particular package now all the time everywhere I go. So if you see me out in person, you can get this offer. And it's actually a one hour call with me, which is normally like 600 bucks. Uh, one ticket to one of my events, and you pick the event within the next business year, and they usually start at 200 bucks for just a ticket, and sometimes they go up even higher than that. Um, and you get a free, I think it's a three-part video series or one of my webinars or uh, like a training, not just one of my freebies, but a real training. And you probably get my two books now. I have The Love Yourself Successful and The Jumpstart Your New Business Now. All of that is over a $2,600 value, I know. Um, and I usually don't give it for $197. So an easy yes offer is something under $200 in my mind. And if you're not as confident or established, then try to figure out what you can do for under 100 bucks. The best easy yes offer is really like a $20 something, like a $20 20-minute call, or a $20 book and a CD, or a $20 um, a free teleclass, a group coaching thing, or whatever, right? So $20 is the best, or a challenge. Erin's on the line, she just did a video challenge. That was a great easy yes offer. She just did a live video challenge to how to get over doing these videos, right? And she's doing another one, actually. Put the link in the comments, Erin, if you're still there. I think it's $30 now, because I told her that's too cheap. She needs to raise the rate. So, <laughs> so 30 bucks, you could do that, right? And you could do an easy challenge. I have some other clients that are creating challenges, too, and they're going to do really low price, easy challenges, because that helps people engage with them and get to know them and see them at, at work and then want to know more from there. So. The third level in your funnel probably should be your do-it-yourself program, right? There might be a do-it-yourself component uh, that is, that you can, so something you've already done live perhaps, like I have another client, Kim, who helps people with to end emotional eating. And she did, in the very beginning, she did an eight-week course and she would give people handouts and do calls once a week for eight weeks, right? Well, once she did that once live, you can box it up, right? You can box it up and package it up and someone can buy it on its own. And now I think she's selling it for 300 bucks or something like that, but or maybe even less than 300. We were just talking the other day and now we're creating this package offer so she can package that do-it-yourself program with some live component, perhaps maybe an event or whatever for a little bit more. 
The point is create some kind of content, um, do it live first, get paid to do it live, frankly, and then box it up and then you have some do-it-yourself content. So I have a jumpstart your marketing system on my website. I have a jumpstart your business in 90 days system on my website. I have a speaker training system on my website. All of those things were done live, recorded, and then boxed up. So a do-it-yourself system is something that I highly recommend because it can be a lower price, maybe not so easy, maybe four or five or $100 or maybe even two thousand, up to $2,000. So that's kind of like a, a do-it-yourself or a middle-of-the-road signature system kind of uh, program. Then the fourth <laughs> thing to have in your funnel, the level in your funnel, is the I'm all in one-on-one. -on -one. Right? So a lot of us can do one-on-one -on -one with clients and some people are teaching, don't do any more one-on-one, -on -one. just leverage everything into group programs or memberships or online sales. Well, you could do that. I personally love still interacting with clients one-on-one. -on -one. Love, love, love it. Hey, Jesse, thanks. And Erin did put the link in the video, by the way, her, her thing. So. Um, I love working one-on-one -on -one still. I still only take a handful, maybe three or four one-on-one -on -one clients at one time, right? However, I still offer a lot of one-on-one -on -one in my mastermind program. So my mastermind is more the, the fifth option that we're talking here, um, which is the whole enchilada. So the whole enchilada, if you can do it, throw everything that you sell and offer into one package and give everything for one price. Now, for that price, I recommend it's more of a value price. Value price uh, is something that I heard from my friend Audrey Isbell, and she's a virtual assistant, and that's how she charges in her business. And she does value pricing. And whatever the price point you feel valued for, doing whatever it is that you want to put in a package or offer, that's the price it should be, frankly. You should not undervalue yourself. You should definitely receive the value that you feel good for, good at, and the price point that you feel good at. So that might be your highest price program, frankly. It is mine, right? It's a, it's a five-figure investment to do my mastermind, and I throw everything in the kitchen sink, right? And I do that on purpose because that's what people need, number one. They need one-on-one. -on -one. They need group, really, to collaborate and brainstorm and get feedback. They need... Uh, the online trainings because it's supplemental learning and they need the live events, they need the, all this kind of stuff, right? Now, um, so let's to recap. We've got the freebie, we've got the easy yes offer, we've got the do-it-yourself or signature system train, you know, training, we've got the I'm all in one-on-one, -on -one. and then we've got the whole enchilada. <laughs> So hopefully that's giving you some ideas of things you can add to your funnel this year and next year moving forward. And sometimes we have to change things up. So it, we don't want you just going and creating new programs all the time because then people are confused, right? But it's okay to say, you know what? I'm tired of this program or I don't want to do it anymore or nobody cares about this program. I'm not going to do this anymore and I'm going to do this instead and see what happens. It's okay to, that's the beauty of being an entrepreneur. It's okay to change your mind change your programs, change your pricing, change whatever you want to do uh, in the beauty of your own website. <laughs> so this is Katrina Sawa signing off, but please, if you want more information, comment in the comments below. Uh, come and see me and have a call with me. Come to a live event. Take some action. Don't just sit here going, what am I going to do? Like, let's get it done. I don't, you know, life is too short to sit around and think about it. Frankly, if you want to think about stuff too long, you know, money follows speed. If you want to think about it, you're going to probably not looking at a lot of money every month. So let's move it, people, and let's get jumpstart your business today, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks.